Hello, hello, hello. Time for another story. And Christmas is over and New Year's now. But I still want to share this story. I don't believe I read this one. This one is called The Night After Christmas. So that would have been December 26th. A well, a little late, but let's read. The Night After Christmas. And this is by James Stevenson. James Stevenson. It was the night after Christmas. Teddy was in the garage. Jingle bells, jingle bells, he sang. Jingle all the way. There's Teddy in the garage. I bet you can guess who's Teddy. <laughs> Why are you singing? Said a doll who was in the garage next to the door. I don't know, said Teddy. It's better than not singing. So you got thrown out too, said the doll. Sure did, said Teddy. The kid who owned me got a space gun for Christmas. Oh, you can see what's too big for Teddy then. My name is Annie, said the doll. I'm Teddy, said Teddy. Merry Christmas, Teddy, said Annie. Same to you, Teddy, said to Annie. Annie is the doll who just got thrown out with all the old toys when the boys and girls are getting their new toys. The kid I belong to, said Annie, got a doll with hair you can curl and clothes you can change, plus a bikini. Want to sing Jingle Bell, said Teddy. Not right now, said Annie. Oh, it's just snowing and snowing and snowing. It's a pretty old story, too, I can tell. A word to the rise, said a voice. They collect the garbage. Yeah, the first thing in the morning. It was a brown dog. Where can we go, asked Annie. You can come to my place, said the dog. Thank you, said Teddy. Climb aboard, said the dog. And my name is Chauncey. Chauncey. <laughs> what a name. What a name for a dog. You have a dog? I don't have a dog. One day, I will. It's not fancy, said Chauncey, but it's warm. They all went inside, and they all went to sleep. Oh, it's easy to go to sleep inside, all nice and toasty, warm they were. In the morning, Teddy said, what do we do now? There's no one to play with. I'll play with you, said Chauncey. Thanks, said Teddy, but I meant children. Nothing personal, Chauncey, said Annie. That's okay, said Chauncey. I'm not much for games anyway. I run, bark, and wag my tail. That's about it. Chauncey went out to hunt for some breakfast. Chauncey was getting hungry. He didn't care about all that other stuff. You know what we should do, said Teddy. What, said Annie. We should fix ourselves up as new toys, said Teddy. The kind kids want. I am what I am, said Annie. I can't be anything else. Well, I can, said Teddy. I can be on television. Kids love that. No, you couldn't, said Annie. You see, said Teddy, clap if you like it. <laughs> T 
Teddy climbed into a box. Everybody in the whole family loves yummy, said Teddy. Tell mom to buy the large size today. It's nourishing and it's delicious. You didn't clap, said Teddy. I didn't like it that much, said Annie. I have a better idea, said Teddy. And he went away for a moment. Wonder where Teddy is going. What are you supposed to be? asked Annie. I'm a toy computer, said Teddy. Ask me a question. How can you be so stupid, said Annie. Is that the question, said Teddy. What now, said Annie. Don't you know a creature from out of space when you see one, said Teddy. <laughs> He's going to pretend to be a different toy. He's going to be a creature from out of space, one you can ask questions to, I guess. <laughs> Chauncey came back. Having a good time, he asked. No, said Teddy. Far from it, said Annie. Oh, well, said Chauncey. You'll get used to it. For the next few days, Teddy and Annie just sat around. They were feeling sadder and sadder. Aww. Why were they so sad, you wonder? Teddy began to pace back and forth, back and forth. What's the problem, said Chauncey. I can't get used to getting used to it, said Teddy. Hmm, said Chauncey. He started to leave. Where are you going, asked Annie. Can we come too, said Teddy. No, said Chauncey. He was gone for a long time. I wonder where Chauncey went. He just took off and was gone for a very long time. And he didn't want his friends to go with him. When Chauncey came back, he wouldn't tell them where he'd been. You'll find out tomorrow, he said. The next day he took them down the street. Wait till you see, he said. <laughs> wonder what that Chauncey is up to. He's a smart doggy. They stop at a big building. What's so special, asked Annie. You sit there, Annie, said Chauncey. And you sit there, Teddy. I hear a bell ringing, said Annie. I wonder if it's the Christmas bells when they ring the bells for you to give your donations outside the store. Suddenly, children began pouring out of the doors. Oh, that's the bell they heard. Not a Christmas bell. They heard a bell and it was time for school. Rung the bell and all the kids came busting out the door. They made a lot of noise. And it took a long time. They're piling into their school bus to go home. When all the children were gone, Annie and Teddy were gone too. Uh-oh. The children are gone? Where did Annie and Teddy go? <laughs> there they are. The children were gone. They were gone. It's a cute little winter story. Just regular things that happen the night after Christmas. All the holiday glitz was over and... The kids had thrown away all their old toys. They didn't want any more to make room for their new toys. Oh, and the toys were feeling so sad about that. So there's the little dolly. Her name was Annie. Someone threw her around, threw her away. 
And Teddy, the teddy bear, they threw him away also. Give a thumbs up so I can continue on with more stories. And please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Follow the channel. Bye for now. To the next story, which is coming up.